Hi, I'm Curtis T. Johns. Hi, I'm AJ Bentley. Hi, I'm Saria Solomon. Hi, and I'm Yazdan. Just Yazdan like Cher. Oh, oh, God. oh God. I mean, I was like a freak. It feels great to be bringing this show to Wimbledon, um, kind of in the London region. Um, it's going to be exciting to see what kind of audiences we get. And um, yeah, it's, it's a big theatre to fill, so it should be amazing in our concert scenes. Yeah, I mean, the audience reactions differ wherever we go. So, I mean, um, you go up to Glasgow, Edinburgh, they're pr pretty wild, aren't they? I think it's, I think it's normally yeah. northern audiences tend to be the wild ones. You go down to s the southerners near, near my end, and they're normally quite reserved. They sit and enjoy the show. But, um, yeah, who knows where London's going to sit in that. Yeah. 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 Yes, the band musical is going to the West End. Um, all of December, I believe. And, and a bit of January. And a, and a bit of January. A bit of January, which will be... I got a haircut, um, which is very nice because it's actually about 10, 20 minutes from where I live. So it's going to be my hometown, which I'm very excited about. Sorry about you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'll be great coming back to the West End after my stint in Oliver in uh, 2013. Um, but yeah, it's great uh, to become. <laughs> so we've been touring for over a year now, um, and obviously before this, we were we were all kind of normal lads. We we didn't really have like professional experience within musical theatre, um, none of us had done a, a job like this before so I think we've all kind of discovered um, how to keep it fresh um, and we obviously we bounce off each other really well so someone does something new and then another person does something new and it's kind of it's great to just, you know, just, just, just bounce and bounce. <laughs> just bounce. Yeah. Um, over a year ago when we started um, forming in Manchester and we, we went to our kind of, I don't know what you call it, demo stage. Where previews. You kind of previews. Previews, yeah. And you're figuring everything <laughs> demo out. Demo stage. Gonna work. <laughs> the beta. Um, and, and you're kind of working out if something works with the audience, a certain line or whatever. And there has been a few changes, but nothing that's really impacted the plot or the, the kind of big impressive scenes. Obviously, we've been together a while now. The process for Let It Shine went way back before. Um, obviously, we opened in Manchester in September, so um, we know each other inside out pretty much now. Um, we know literally. We, uh, <laughs> um, we know. We know. What, we know. Um, we know if someone's in a bad mood and they need a bit of space. We know. Um, you know who can have a laugh and who can't. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, do, you, do you know what I mean? So I think we just, um, you know, we know each other's boundaries, and um, and that really, that really helps when, um, you know, when we're on the road together and we spend so much time together. Curtis gets really quiet. What? When he's in a bad mood, you get quite quiet. <laughs> curl up into a ball. So I don't know why it looks like Curtis. It's normally me who's <laughs> angry, <laughs> angry at life. <laughs> so the show is about friendship, love, and it's about five young girls who have a very big love for each other, and the band not take that. They're, they're never mentioned like that, and um, for one reason or another, they sort of um, they're not friends anymore. And then 20 years on, they have a reunion and um, at a take that slash band concert. Have you seen those videos on YouTube where it's plots exploding badly? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I think you did a great job. Oh, I'm not. I usually it. leave it to yes. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> <really good. laughs> <laughs> Mostly the, the, the dice dip and all. Yeah, yeah. it's okay. Um, I remember um, on the final week of us performing uh, in Let It Shine, it was, it was the week of the finals, uh, David Pugh, the producers, um, they all came down and they told us the story of the musical. And I think from that moment on, we've been involved in the creation of this wonderful story. Um, and I think um, it's, been, it's, really, it's been really amazing because in the, in the rehearsal room, um, We've, we've been mentored and we've been kind of um, we've been choreographed by Kim Gavin, who was obviously take that chore choreographer for um, for forever, basically. Um, <laughs> yeah, since the beginning, um, and and also working with Tim Firth, Jack Ryder, um, and obviously you have the input of the Take That Boys and of uh, David Pugh and Dak Rogers. Um, I think the creation process has been amazing, and I think I actually look back on it now with really happy memories, although it was very stressful. <laughs> Really the process of auditioning in front of kind of the, the nation, as it were, and being voted by them um, as to whether or not you get the job is quite a stressful one. Um, and, and we kind of experienced a lot of things that the performers experience in, in regards to training and, and learning how to do it. But you're kind of on the job all the time, so you know we went live every week, and you literally had a week to get it right. Um, and, down a screen and a lens, there's millions of people watching you if you make the wrong move or whatever. So yeah, stressful.
Yeah, I mean, the first audition for me was the first time I'd ever performed on stage on my own, and that which one obviously in front of Gary Barlow, Danny Minogue, and the, um, the, the, the audience of the, the millions at home, that's obviously quite a, um, a, a daunting prospect, but um, then I, thought, I suppose you get used to it, I think by the second live show, I think I started to feel a little bit more comfortable um, being, being in front of the, you know, the audience and knowing that people are at home watching, probably because we got voted through first, yeah. the first week, which I think yeah. made us, um, gave us that little bit of a confidence boost for the second week. Well, the uh, whole Let It Shine experience for me was pretty scary. Um, it was just getting the head round the thought of millions of people down one camera, and I, I perform much better when I see audiences' faces, so it's a very new experience for me. Um, but yeah, it was terrifying, but fun at the same time, but <laughs> mainly terrifying. There was a, in the show, there was the way you were, you were chosen to, to win or to, to go through to the next round was there was a, a big long uh, walkway and, and down the, 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 the walkway was like, uh, we had LEDs and stuff and stars would light up and the stars would make their way to you and if they made their way to you then you'd get through or you'd win or whatever. Um, and it was make great TV but it was very scary being on that star and we actually met the guy who kind of uh, conceived that idea. And <laughs> yeah, Curtis is very angry at him. No, um, on the stage. <laughs> but I mean, <laughs> it, it was a, it was a very it, like like to reiterate everyone's points. It, it was scary, but it was the best time of my life. Looking back on it, it was so much fun. You um, it. it was yeah. Amazing. Okay, um, five words to describe our show: um, nostalgic, thrilling, roller coaster, emotional, um, and feel good. That was six minutes. Ago. Is it? Feel good, it's too good. I can't come. Yeah. <laughs> um, you should come and see the show because it's been really well received. We'll have you up dancing, singing, and um, I think we'll have you leaving with a smile on your face. Find us on all social medias or at the band musical. We're so excited because we're going to be at the West End from the 1st of December to the 12th of January at the Theatre Royal Haymarket, and we can't wait to see you over the Christmas period. <laughs>